Any room? Um, sorry, sir. We just gave out the last room. You just gave out the last room? Yes, sir. I don't understand. It, it means you had one when we came in? Yeah, we had some rooms. So why did you tell my secretary you had none? No, I didn't tell her that. She only requested for just one room. She, she said that to you? Yes, sir. It's okay. It's okay. So please just make one available for me, okay? It's pretty late. I can't go out there searching for a hotel to lodge. Besides, all my colleagues are lodged here. So if you can't give me one, I'll just be glad, okay? I'm sorry, sir. There's nothing I can do. We just gave out the last room. It's okay. It's okay. Thank you. to meet the receptionist and she told me you were the one that asked her to book a room and not to. Why would you do that? I don't know. I'm feeling sleepy. I need to rest. What's the matter? To the hotel as man and lover. Officer, if you got your information right, they would have told you I went to the reception to ask for another room. I was told. I was reliably informed that the receptionist told you that there was no other room. So you went back to that same room. That was because I didn't have a choice. Was that right? Are you sure that you did not have any other choice? I didn't. And you believed so? Any man that did not have an ulterior motive wouldn't have done so. You ended up sleeping with her. Was that part of the plan too? Officer, she got it all planned out. And I was drunk. I didn't know what I was doing. She also got you drunk. Forced you to sleep with her. Huh? Listen, young man. If you were in my shoes, would you believe my story? Officer, you have to believe me. You have to believe me. She lied! Her passing out was part of the plan too. Huh? Let me tell you something. 
am not a fool. And this is not the first time I am handling this kind of case. I must get to the root of this matter. Have a nice day. I swear, I didn't have anything to do with her. I'm sorry I didn't tell you about it. You called me when you got to Abuja, and then you checked into the room with your bags. So how come you never called me after the conference? No, 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 don't answer that, because I know why. You were busy for leaking with her. This is what you're thinking. So what should I think? Please listen to me, just calm down and listen to me, please. I didn't know what happened. I wasn't even myself. Please, you have to believe me. I am sorry. Don't touch her. Please, please. Where's your wife? She went out. <sighs> Church, I'm truly sorry about my involvement in all of this. I never knew she was that obsessed. I thought I was dealing with a fun loving girl. I never knew she was going to take it this far. It's okay. It's okay, bro. I don't hold any crushes against you, okay? See? See? So who's calling? She? So, so what are you going to do about this now? I've reported the matter to the police. They're on it. So but the problem is, since you left the hospital, Nobody has set eyes on her. God, this is too much. This is just too much. Oh. This girl. This girl. Oh boy. See, just take, take a look. Take a look at this. Ah, nudity? Can you imagine? No, this is too much. This girl is crazy. But how is your wife handling all of this? Man. That is my biggest problem for now. Thank you. 
are you and what are you doing in my house? You know who I am before you ask. I want you out of this house this minute. <laughs> Is that how to say hi to your husband's girlfriend? If you don't leave this house right now, I won't be held responsible for whatsoever happens to you. <laughs> oh, really, sweetheart? Oh my gosh, who are you? I'm so sorry for 